Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we're going to talk about something. I got a couple of questions about USB hubs, or you know, a way to expand your PC with more USB ports. How do you do this? Well, on laptops and desktops, most of the time we will actually be using uh, what we call a USB hub, which is technically a little extension that has a chip in it that simply adds a number of USB ports. And there are all sorts out there. There's really cheap ones with two ports, four ports, and more. You see one here that's more expensive that has a lot more USB ports than probably most people actually need. But they're not all the same. And there are things to consider when you actually get something to make your computer uh, to expand expand your computer's USB port. First of all, there's the speed of the USB ports. It's very important to match the speed of your computer, which means make sure that the USB um, device, the hub that you buy, is at least USB 3.0. It's, it's a minimum requirement today. The 2.0 will be less expensive, but they are slower. And for transfers, like on the USB thumb drive or an external hard drive, it will show the speed will be very different. There's also uh, USB hubs that have their own power and those that draw power from your computer. Now, for just adding, for example, USB thumb drives and plugging printers, a non-powered USB hub can work, but I recommend that you buy a powered USB hub because if you do plug in external hard drives that take a lot of power you can actually go over the limit of the USB ports since it's your computer that would be powering the USB ports if you don't have external power on the USB hub. So by having external power instead of actually drawing power from your computer it draws the power from the power adapter that comes with the hub and these are definitely much better in general. Make sure also that they might have a variety of ports. A lot of USB hubs today have uh, USB-C, USB, um, the standard USB for you know USB 2.0, 3.0, and so on. So if you have a mix of these, it's nice because you know that whatever USB device you buy in the future, you'll have a place to actually plug it in. Now, using USB hubs is also a cause of problems depending on the USB hub. Try to avoid the cheap ones. The cheaper ones usually very often will give you errors, blue screens, all sorts of problems, connectivity issues with devices. So remember that the cheap ones are not necessarily a good idea. You better you know, put more money into something that is more quality. And remember that some devices do not like hubs. There are devices that you'll have to just plug it directly to the computer because they won't work through a hub. And that happens more often than you think. So just choose one if possible with power and with um, you know, a variety of ports and, of course, number of ports that you might need. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.